Lifting can seem like an easy task. But when it comes to construction, there are a ton of potential hazards. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, over one million workers are injured each year. 75% are due to improper lifting techniques. Before we get started, let's go over some of our company's essential PPE requirements. You'll need a high visibility vest, hard hat, safety glasses, which we will supply. You'll also need CSA approved steel toed work boots. Now that we're ready to go, first things first, always warm up. Remember, to stretch your hamstring and your Achilles to increase your mobility. Whew. Now that we're warmed up a little bit, before lifting anything, it's important to plan ahead. You must be aware of what you're lifting and you must be aware of its weight. This is crucial for many reasons. Before lifting anything, determine whether you can lift it by yourself or with the assistance of another employee or a machine. At Hexel Construction, anything over 50 pounds requires the assistance of another labor or a machine. After planning ahead, it's important to check your pathway. It's crucial that you check the trajectory of the pathway and your work area and make sure there are no obstructions and remove any obstacles in your path. Be mindful of wet and slippery surfaces and be aware of uneven ground. Now that you are aware of your surroundings and are ready to start lifting, here are a few of the general principles to follow. Remember, when lifting, bend your knees back straight, object close to the body, and if it has handles, utilize the handles. If you need assistance, please ask. There are some things you must absolutely avoid. This is what you're going to avoid, twisting and turning. Remember, when picking up an object. Don't bend over instead of squatting. Don't use a partial grip. And don't block your vision while carrying the object. It is important to never work or lift fatigued. Never rush the process and never hold your breath while lifting. Now that we've learned the basics, let's implement them on the job to ensure our health and safety. Remember, we're all in this together. Every little bit helps. 